up? Peace and love. Welcome back to Armani TV. And this is another segment of SG. Everyone should smell good. Let's see. As you guys probably saw in the short, I have a double review today. Um, one is a fragrance that I actually already reviewed on the channel. Um, today we're talking about we still in the house of Latifah and this fragrance that we unboxing is Asad. Now, for the last couple weeks, I've actually been wearing this fragrance right here, which is Kamra by the same house, Latifah. So we're gonna break down the notes on this one. And I definitely wanted to show you guys the presentation. So it sits right here inside of this nice, it's like a velvet line sort of box. The bottle actually resembles like a glass of uh, cognac, but you got like a nice little mirror here on the back of the box. Very cool. Rich, luxurious sort of presentation here with the uh, camera. So again, what does it smell like? In the top notes, you got some cinnamon, you got nutmeg and bergamot. In the middle notes, you got dates, praline, tuberose, and something I actually had to look up, which is called Mahonio. And what I found on Google, <laughs> Mahonio often used as a synthetic note to capture the essence of lilies, infuses fragrance with the luxurious floral abundance, its scent capturing the sheer elegance and poetic beauty of nature's blossoms. So I'm not really into floral scents, but um, apparently that's what the Mahonio is inside of this fragrance here. It's a capture the essence of lilies. But in the base notes, you got some vanilla, you got tonka bean, you got uh, benzoin, something else I had to look up. This is probably what makes this fragrance as uh, unique as it is. Something called Akigala wood. Through the innovative use of biochemistry, Akigala wood actually is a manufactured ingredient described as a woody, spicy floral all at once, which is very, very unique often compared to patchouli and agarwood. The patchouli, I could definitely get with because that's a uh, that's a note that I do like in a lot of my fragrances amongst the uh, gourmand palette. But um, what does it smell like? Again, or first hints, decent sprayer. Nothing too special, but a dope top. Very, very heavy bottle. You know what I'm saying? You definitely get quality in regards to the uh, the bottles and the presentation from the whole house of Latifah. That's what I'm noticing with all of their scents, even down to the most simplest, in which we'll open up the aside in a minute. But off the top, you definitely going, you definitely going to smell that cinnamon. Um, the vanilla is very present as well. I get like a coffee bob, you know what I'm saying? I'm a hazelnut coffee type of a guy. So that's, you know, if you're looking for something that smells sweet, um, definitely perfect for date night, you know what I'm saying? Um, me, again, I've been wearing it the last couple weeks while I've been going to work, so on and so forth. Definitely in my commute travels on the trains, you know, whole lot of compliments. What are you wearing? You know, that sort of thing. So, um, and the longevity on this cologne, super, super, super dope. You definitely gonna get a strong six to eight hours. So if you spray this on, uh, before you start your day, whether you're going to the gym, you're going to work, whatever the case is, a good six to eight hours is what this gonna last. And you're probably gonna smell it after that. This is one of them joints that you definitely gotta scrub off in the shower, but that's Kamra, Kamra by Latifah. And I'm um, definitely feeling that fragrance. This is uh, what I gotta double back and uh, get another bottle of, but the aside, I already broke this down for you guys, but if you don't know, this is pretty much their clone for Dior Sauvage Elixir. And if you watch my review on Elixir, you'll see my obsession with it. <laughs> already did the review, so make sure you go and check that one out. Give the video a like, you know what I'm saying? Comment if you have any uh, experience with the Asad. And this is the black bottle. So they have a couple different versions. There's the blue Asad by Latifah, um, Zanzibar, you know what I'm saying? So it hints at the same, but they all, you know, have their own sort of um, identity, if you will. Again, presentation, Latifah, 
guys make some very, very dope bottles. I love the bottles. I love the presentation. The weight, you can tell, is, you know, it's not made with any sort of cheap materials. They definitely put quality and uh, effort into all of their bottles and the designs. You know what I'm saying? The black and gold on this one. Again, decent sprayer. Nothing too fancy, but it definitely gets the job done. And yes, Dior Sauvage Elixir. So if you don't know what this smells like or what that smells like, in the top notes of this, you got some black pepper, some pineapple and tobacco. It's crazy. Heart notes, coffee. <laughs> there we go. Patchouli and iris. And then the base notes, amber, vanilla, dry woods, some benzene, and some labdomen. And this is definitely another long lasting fragrance, six to eight hours, probably even more is what you're gonna get on this. Most of their fragrances or everything that I've purchased from them so far has been eau de parfums. So if you know anything about the eau de parfum, that is the uh, strongest concentration that you're gonna get out of buying a cologne, so. But overall guys, um, between the two, I can't tell you which one I really like more. I guess I would say the Aside because I was wearing the Dior Sauvage Elixir and I bought two bottles of that and now I'm on two bottles of this. This is the only bottle I've bought of this so far, but I can definitely tell you I'm doubling back to get another uh, bottle. So that's gonna be the review on camera as well as Aside. Have a great rest of the week. Like, subscribe, comment down below if you've had any sort of experience with the Latifa brand. And if you had, what's your favorite scent? Because they have hundreds, literally. All right, Armani TV, to the next review. I'm out. Every morning in my business suit. Uh -huh. I heard the shit y'all talking, shit was really cute. But I always do the right thing like Spike.